In the previous video lesson, we learned in detail about monohaloalkanes. In this video lesson, let us learn in detail about dihaloalkanes. What are these dihaloalkanes? The name is giving us a clear idea that these hydrocarbons alkane saturated hydrocarbons contain two halogen atoms in its one molecule say for example look at this case this carbon atom is containing two halogen atoms in its one molecule. What is the name of this compound? 1 comma 1 because for the same carbon atom two chlorine is attached so locant is 1 1 comma 1 dichloro and it is containing two carbon atoms so the root word to be fixed is F and because it is saturated ethane. So organic compounds which contain two halogen at atoms attached in the same molecule are referred by the name as dihaloalkanes. Example that we have considered the name of this compound is 1 comma 1 dichloroethane. Now, this dihaloalkanes are again further categorized into two types. Dihaloalkanes are further categorized into two types. And this categorization is purely based on the position where the halogen atom is attached. So what are the classifications? Let us look at it and then learn them in little detail. Geminal dihalides and vixinol dihalides. Geminal dihalides and vixinol dihalides. The term geminal is derived from a Latin word Gemini. Geminal term is derived from a Latin word Gemini. The term Gemini means twins. The term Gemini means twins. Now what does this convey to us? It means they are dihaloalkanes wherein Two halogen atoms are attached to the same carbon atom. As you can see in this particular case, two halogen atoms are attached to the same carbon atom. So such dihaloalkanes are referred by the name as geminal dihalides or in short we also call them as gem dihalides. Instead of geminal, we can also call them in the short form as gem dihalides. And by naming, we can also call them as alkalidine dihalides. This is the trivial system nomenclature which has got acceptance. So therefore, we can also call them as alkalidine dihalides. So applying this name for this compound, we can call this compound as ethylidine. Why ethylene? Ethyl because two carbon atoms. So ethylidine dichloride which is a halide in this case. It is chloride. So we can call this as ethylidine dichloride to be more specific. Or else, instead of calling this as the term di, even if you just simply tell it as ethylidine chloride, 
it is understood that we are talking about the presence of two halogen atoms attached to the same carbon atom. So the term lidine is giving an indication that we are talking with respect to gem dihalides. Now, let us look at the case of vixenol dihalide. Vixenol dihalide is derived from again a Latin word vixinus. This term is also like the term Gemini is derived from Latin word Vixinus which means neighbor. The meaning of the term Vixinus is neighbor. This means that the halogen atoms are attached present to the adjacent carbon atoms. Now let us take up an example so the concept becomes clear. CH3, CH, then CH2. Now look at this case. We find the presence of two halogen atoms in this molecule also like the previous case. Now but then what is the difference? Here we find the presence of halogen atoms present attached to the neighboring carbon atoms, to the adjacent carbon atoms. Therefore, they become example of vixinous dihalides or vixinol dihalides. And the short term, like how Gemini is referred by the name as gem dihalide, like that vixinol dihalide is also referred by the name as Wick dihalides. Wick dihalides is the short form representation of vixenol dihalides. Like how? Jump dihalides are called by the name as alkalidine dihalides. Similarly, here we call the wick dihalides as alkali dihalides. We call the wick dihalides as alkaline dihalides. Now let us try to name this particular compound both in IUPAC nomenclature as well as this into consideration. Now what is the name of this compound that we can give? 1, 2, 3. This is how we can give the locate. So 1, 2 dichloropropane the name of this compound is 1 comma 2 dichloropropane. Then applying the concept of alkaline dihalides. We can call them as ethylene dihalides. We can call this compound by the name as ethylene. E-T-H-Y-L-E-N-E. -E. Ethylene dichloride or else simply as ethylene chloride still it means we are talking about dihaloalkanes for the continuation of the classification please watch my next video